Hours Music on the Soldier Cat here. Today's gonna talk about the blah, 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 blah. Today's gonna talk about the title I am vlogging. And actually the footage you're about to see of like I don't know, I think it was just Meyer and Target. I filmed before this intro and I'm just not getting home. I did Christmas with my dad today. Actually by the doing vlogmas today. And um I got some new stuff for Christmas for my dad, and this will probably be in the what I got for Christmas video. Also, if you can hear my mom, she's on the phone. So, um, yeah. We also went to Ulta today, and I saw some Jeffree Star X Morphe stuff that was really cute. And they had, like, the palette, and the palette was actually really pretty, but it was, like, $45, so. Anyway, my, hold on, let me set this down real quick. And I'll show you in order of how I got everything. So, first, my dad wanted me to open this which is a Sam I Am Funko Pop. I don't know if I've said on YouTube yet, but I am obsessed with the new Greetings and Ham series on Netflix because Adam plays Sam. So I got this from my dad. I'm getting one of the little dorbs for my mom and I'm getting a plush for my mom. And I got a special idea for the plush and I'm not sure if I should say yet. I probably won't. And um, there's something I have to order like a week before Christmas. We also, when we were at Target, I got I've known about this, and they did this last year, I'm like, I really can't afford it, but, um, I got the 15 days of socks, and I need new socks. I have, like, a bunch of cartoon ones that I wear, like, all the time, like, Hushini, We Bear, Bear, Wee Bear Bears, Nickelodeon, just that kind of stuff, and then I have regular colored socks, or, like, these with the, uh, food on it for dance, so I don't wear, like, cartoon socks to dance, and they don't know my secrets. But, this year is my last year in dance, and a lot of the socks that I would wear to dance um, are fading through, so even though you have the socks on, you can still feel the floor, they have holes, and I like to wear my cartoon socks instead. So after dance, I'm going to go through all my socks and just get rid of a bunch of them. And also, there are cat dog socks in here, like they weren't in last year, I don't think. Well, they had crew socks. This year, it's 11 pair of low cut, which are my favorite, and then the crew socks, which I've got really thick legs and thighs, so sometimes when they go, try to go up to my legs, they just don't fit, and, but, I mean, I'm, you know, I will wear them if I can, um, so today I'm actually filming this on the 9th, so this starts tomorrow, and I'm really excited. I did pay for this because I need a paycheck from Google. Hopefully, I think. It's such a long story, I don't think I've told anyone on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm getting a paycheck from Google. It still, I don't know yet. It says I made $81 last month, so let's see. Maybe I just still need to find a job. Anyway. Then, after Sam, my dad had me open this pizza phone case, which you obviously can't tell, but it is bigger than my actual iPhone 5. So he, I open this, he's like, does it fit your phone? I'm like, I don't know. And um, I put my phone, I'm like, no, it's a little too big. And then he hands me his box. He's like, then you should open this next. And it is a rose gold iPhone 8. And um, so yeah, I'd give more details, but I'm afraid my parents are going to watch this. And I can't, I'm not going to say it. Anyway, um, actually, I am going to purchase a Pizza Steve phone case for my phone because this was my old one. This is from the Cartoon Network shop, the Uncle Grandpa section, and they don't sell Uncle Grandpa stuff anymore, so they don't have this anymore, which I'm really sad about. But I did find a cute little phone case on Amazon, so I guess I'll just get that in. Oh no, my, actually my film phone phone case is falling apart, so... <laughs> and then he had me open this, which is a wireless phone charger. Mine is cracked, and funny story, I accidentally left it at my grandma's house anyway, um, because my iPhone 5 was dying, and in the transferring my stuff to my new phone, which, where is my new phone? <laughs> this is my new phone. And everything... My phone reminding me what I am. No, but literally, I had to remind myself to take the trash out when I got back, which I did. But anyway, I do still have everything on here in my phone case, I think. However, problem, um, 
this phone doesn't have an a uh, headphone jack. And the f box, like my my dad said, it probably comes with one, whatever. Nope, it just came with. I literally can't stand these kinds of headphones. Sorry, my light. And then it came with a cube and a charger, which works because I left my one at my grandma's house. But yet again, like I said. Um, but that means for 16 more days, I can't use headphones at night because obviously. Now I could buy an adapter, but like I said, 16 days and you're probably just like, why so specific? I'm getting wireless headphones for Christmas, neon green wireless headphones for Christmas. So no headphones for 16 days, I guess. Which I can live with. I mean. Um. So. I guess I'll have to suffer 16 days. For the luxury of. Wireless headphones. Plus my wire is getting so annoying. I wrap it around my headphones to keep it cleaned up. I don't know if you can see it over there on my chair. So I wrap it around there to keep it cleaned up. And that makes it all twisted. And like it's just. Pug. So um. Yeah, wireless headphones for Christmas. Also, my dad's not done getting me stuff for Christmas. Black Friday, he ordered stuff from Jeffrey and it just hasn't come yet. So, getting stuff from Jeffrey. While I'm at it, how about I tell you guys what I asked for from Jeffrey. From, from my dad of Jeffrey's stuff. Whoa. If I still have the notebook. I do okay great so I asked for the jawbreaker palette because like <sighs> before I got Shane's palette I wasn't like really into like Jeffrey's makeup like I love Jeffrey he's a great person but I wasn't like all into makeup and whatever but once I got Shane's palette I did makeup every single day and I actually haven't done it in a while because I did it so much and I had to scrub it off my face and my face just got really dry to the point where it would like burn so I had to take a break and I just haven't had time to do it again but so I asked for the jawbreaker palette at first I didn't think that I I didn't thought I didn't think that I wanted it but I do so yeah then I got unicorn blood I asked for it I don't know if I got I he, he confirmed that he bought it just because Black Friday was so crazy and he didn't know if the order went through and he had to ask me if it did. But he didn't tell me what he got. And Unicorn Blood is a liquid lip and it actually matches my prom dress. And that's why I wanted it. And I'm hoping that's something he got. And I told him that the this list is in order of what I most wanted to least wanted. What wasn't in place here before that I did actually end up getting to send him is the Rainbow Lip Liquid Lip Bundle. And I just really love it. It's so pretty. And then the C13 concealer, star concealer, magic star concealer. Because I have an ugly face. And then, uh, sometimes the names don't pop up on these links. Then, I asked for, I wanted a lot of liquid lip because I was a liquid lip. Jawbreaker, the liquid lip. Which might, either it's either Jawbreaker, Breakfast at Tiffany's, or both that are in the rainbow bundle palette and then I asked for breakfast at Tiffany's and then I asked for blow pony which is also in the rainbow thing and then no tea no shade which is a pretty color and yeah also after Christmas I'm going to do a something inspired look um, with my Shane palette and I need a specific lipstick that I did not ask for and do not have so I have to buy that later. I probably have about $130 now and I bought the socks. I really thought I would regret it but I'm pretty sure that I feel really good about it because I love socks and I don't know I'm really excited to open them these next few days. However I did want to order my best friend something super cute for like $8.00. But now that I sent her like a big box of goodies, I think I'll just save it for later. Yeah, now that I've spent like 15 freaking dollars on socks. Um, however, there's a nine dollar thing I need to buy. And I don't I don't know what the price of what I need to buy. I don't need to, probably after I get a paycheck. Uh phone case. And um 
I literally don't even remember what I want because I I do want that Shane Dawson um robe from the Shane Dawson merch website, the uh killer merch one day, but I know that well, okay, what the heck material is this? Oh, huh, that's that's just the paper that was around the cube. I was outside the cube and it felt very weird. Um, and actually, soon when I get done talking, I'm gonna go, um, to put my Sam on the shelf. I'm gonna take the stitch and actually the shelf, the black shelf above it with the Lion King and the stitch figures is a Disney shelf, surprisingly, since I don't really care for Disney. And I'm going to put Sam on my Funko Pop shelf. So that's like a bunch of random stuff. That's Funko Pops, that's Disney, and then up there is California Rays. But, um, yeah. So I did get my dad some gifts. I got him a the many emotion or sh some sort of emotions magnet of like Sheldon from Big Bang Theory, and like his face looks the same until like one weird word that I guess they use all the time, and then his face is like I don't know weird. And I got him a keychain something about like no matter where you are, I'll always be here or whatever because he is a pilot and he flies a lot, and I don't see him that much. So yeah, and then I got my grammar. I got my grandma a little hanging butterfly thing that you put on the window. It's a little glass butterfly looking thing. It's got a little charm that says grandma on it and she loves butterflies and little hanging things. She likes like wind chimes and the hanging glass thingies. So I got her that and then I got my grandpa. He actually wasn't there for the, for the like whole entire time we were there. But I got him a mug that says world's greatest best grandpa best grandpa ever i think i literally don't even remember so i left it on his bed so yeah i still have one more thing to wrap of my mom's i gave my friends their gifts for christmas they loved it and i gave one of my friends a hooded polar bear blanket thing from five below and their blankets run so small but luckily it was like big enough for her I actually look pretty big wish that could have been the same thing for that pizza thing I got that one time little you know how they have those blankets they're like mermaid tails and you put your legs in yeah I got pizza one of that at five below and it was so small I actually got rid of it because <sighs> there was no use for it It was like for a freaking toddler also speaking of pizza stuff from five below I got this pet bed that at the time when I got it didn't realize it was a pet bed and it is all tied together with rubber bands because it's so bulky and I keep it under my um my desk thingy or my chair. What the heck am I talking about? Also, Stacy, she used to be sitting next to my bed. Like her bed used to be next to my bed, but it was kinda tacky and just like looked it looked um crowded or cluttered. So I put her under my chair since I just recently cleaned under my chair. And I haven't touched her in a while just cause, I don't know. I used to like every morning get her up and whatever, but I've been busy. And I go to make, move her bed and I pick her up and she was like covered in dust. And so, you know, Budsies, you know, they're good quality fabric right there. But um, speaking of that, I meant to, I've been wanting to order a plush for my plush toys or my plush toy it's basically kind of like Bud's Eve, but hopefully a lot better and um I just haven't done it yet because I I don't know I haven't been really into my plushies lately like Molly over there she I put socks in her shirt because she's pregnant but I mean I held her for a little bit yesterday when I was moving her from my chair because I just sit down in my chair but I don't know I don't play with them a lot or hold them too much like I should. Speaking of Christmas, I've got 11 more now. Gifts to draw. Um, I have 15 people on DeviantArt that I'm drawing Christmas gifts for and I made four yesterday. My plan is I was going to do one every single day, post one every single day till Christmas and starting tomorrow today tomorrow <laughs> but then i decided not to do that and at first i decided that 
Uh, and then, okay. So I'm going to finish drawing all of them. Put them in a collage. All together, all 15. Then link every individual picture from my stash, which is like a storage part of DeviantArt, which is for, I guess, I don't know. An evening art, and everyone could will be able to download their individual picture. And at first, I'm like, okay, I'll do that on December 25th. And I'm like, no, I'll do it as soon as I'm done with it. So so far, I've only done four, and they're all like they're not specific like full body or headshot or half body. I have a full, I have two full bodies because they're like object OCs. One headshot and one half body. And uh, I'm doing that. Uh, blanks, blanks 2019 summary of art and I've got all of them done but I haven't been drawing that much this month because I just haven't been feeling it lately so I don't have December put up there yet and I may have to upload it like December 31st hopefully well yeah I'm gonna have to do that no matter what but I think I'm gonna open this lid and see what, or this flap the heck am I talking about and uh, see what it looks like on the inside even though I already know because one of my friends on Instagram has been doing this for the last few but I'm actually going to make sure, I'm not going to look back at what he's already opened, just so maybe I'll forget even though I probably won't, but... Thank you. 